There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Who are you? I'm no one. She is strong with the Force. Untrained, but stronger than she knows. Bring her to me. Something inside me has always been there. But now it's awake. And I need help. <laughs> I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Let the past die. Kill it. If you have to. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. I need someone to show me my place in all this. We are the spark that will light the fire that will burn the first order down. Come on! This is not going to go the way you think. Fulfill your destiny. Your favorite heroes from The Force Awakens are back, along with a new member of the team, Rose. Tell me, how does it feel to be a brand new character in the Star Wars universe? It's awesome. I still don't believe I'm actually doing it. I feel like I've been living in a dream for the past seven months. Every day you go to set and it's something new and amazing and it just never gets old. What are the coolest new sets you've been on? Honestly, every set I'll go on and be like, this one's awesome. And then the next day I'm like, no, this one's better. I like, can't decide. What do you think fans will love about this new movie? There's a lot of new cool creatures. There's a lot of action. And I think the story is something that we haven't seen in a Star Wars film before. That's amazing. May the force be with you. You can check out Star Wars The Last Jedi in theaters December 15th. Hey everybody, we got some new Star Wars to break down, new character details, and some new creatures that we haven't seen before. So if you're wondering why they put all that Force Awakens footage at the beginning of it, they released this in China, so it's probably just to help people in that country piece together the story of Kylo Ren, Rey, and Snoke. Like, you get all that backstory with them. Bring her to me. And this is obviously the continuation of that, but it's been two years, so I think that's just to refresh people's minds about the story so far. But they did work on a whole bunch of new Last Jedi footage into that, including the new space horses that people have been calling them. They actually do have a real name that I'll explain in a sec, but if you're finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe to get everything. There's a whole bunch of Star Wars coming in the next couple weeks as the movie gets ready to come out, but I'll also be able to post my non-spoilery review next Tuesday. I think I'm seeing the movie next week, so I think the embargo is up on Tuesday. I'll find out more about that for sure in the next couple of days. And there is new IMAX ticket giveaway stuff at the end of the video too. But starting with the space horses, so obviously this is all the Kanto Bite stuff. We've seen a little bit of it in the behind the scenes before, but they explain these new creatures are just like race horses. Because it's a casino planet, they have all forms of sporting and entertainment that you can gamble on. So of course they'd have horse racing. But their actual name is Fathir. So you get a little bit more of the Kanto Bite. You get a little bit more of the early space battle that looks like it's happening over the original Resistance base. That happens relatively early in the film. They explain that after The Force Awakens and after the destruction of the Starkiller base, they just go on the full offensive. The First Order isn't going to waste any time in trying to take down the Resistance. We also get a lot more shots of the assault on Crate, the salt planet here. You see the trenches. You can just see that they spent a lot more time polishing the CG since we saw the earlier trailers. But the other new stuff you see in here with Rose Tico, the new character, just takes you through a couple of the different sets that she's on when she's with the Finn character as they go to Kanto Bite to meet the other new character, DJ, who's being played by Benicio Del Toro. 
So the director, Ryan Johnson, explained that even though there's this vast universe of characters, there's really only three big new characters in The Last Jedi. There's Rose Tico, who you just saw that little featurette from. There's DJ, played by Benicio Del Toro. And then there's Laura Dern's character, Vice Admiral Holdo, who's sort of like the second in command to Leia. She's somebody that Leia trained when she was a little girl. She was always like this really weird person. But we can talk about her a little bit more in another video. She's just meant to present another side of the Resistance. Like, Leia is a very Spartan character, but the difference with the Holdo character is that they just wanted to present somebody that didn't conform to a lot of the stuff that you've seen before. Just a really weird personality who also was really good at her job the way that Leia was. So without getting into spoilers or anything like that, they said that Holdo is basically this bag of eccentricities, so you're just going to see a lot of weird stuff from her character in a cool way. You get more shots of Finn and Rose as they're trying to infiltrate the First Order. I love that Phasma line they've been putting in the trailers. So good to see you again. The ship that you see them on here, Ryan Johnson actually teased in black and white a couple days ago. I thought about doing a video for that, but the footage here is actually way better, so I figured I'd just include this. But it seems like them, after they've met with the DJ character, and they're trying to infiltrate the First Order. So part of their mission is to go to Kanto Bite, contact him, then they need to infiltrate the First Order. This seems like it's happening after that. Then we see her in this First Order assault, the same way we've seen Finn's character. I don't know if they're in the same ship. It seems like they're in separate ships. It's just hard to see where the edge of the cockpit is here on the right side. But part of the idea with her character is, is that she starts out as this just common engineer and she gets swept up in the action. She has a sister who's a member of Poe Dameron's X-Wing squadron, so she really admires her sister. And there's supposed to be some big moment, some big call to action from her. I have a couple theories, but they're kind of spoilery and they have to do with this first big attack early in the film. So through these events, Finn wakes up, they find out what's going on with Rey, and then they learn what they need to do to try and help the Resistance. Because that's all Finn cares about. He just wants to be a part of the Resistance and help everyone out. And so does Rose. So that's why they kind of pair off together. But let me know what you think of all the new footage so far. And if there are any special Star Wars bonus videos that you want me to do, just let me know in the comments. But just a reminder that because Ryan Johnson is doing that new trilogy, Last Jedi is the best example of what that new trilogy is going to look and feel like, even though the characters of the new trilogy will be completely different from these characters. But just a reminder, my non-spoilery review is supposed to post next Tuesday, but if there's an update to that, I'll just announce it the next time I post a Star Wars video. There's a new round of the IMAX ticket giveaway. All you have to do to enter is just be a subscriber and leave a Star Wars related comment on the video. Congratulations to the winner from my last video, Pandemonium 101. Please private message me so I can get your contact details. You can click here for that Snoke trailer and you can click here for my new Hulk Hulkbuster video from Infinity War. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.